Good morning, it's November 26th here. Lee and I are up north. We just got up here and apparently it's winter. Um, it's plus seven degrees and as brown as brown back home. But we got, we got more snow up here. Obviously, yeah, the bin pads, they're not gonna be completed until next spring now. Um, you guys already know that. We took our 724 home, otherwise we would sure love to have our 724 up here and do, move some snow because we gotta move some grain. Since 724 isn't here, we're gonna fire up old Ernie. Cause he's our fallback. I mean, no, that's not true. You are the primary unit here, Ernie, okay? <laughs> and I say it. <laughs> well, our door leaks just slightly a little bit. We're gonna need some ether. And we're gonna need ether with, a, with an actual end on it. Yeah, so uh, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go get some ether. One, two. We got a can of ether. Why do we have to use ether? Because Ernie's a little bit temperamental and is gonna want a little bit of extra, you know, caffeine. You want coffee in the morning, don't you? Let's well, stop complaining so much. All right. Well, Mike, don't you got a place you could plug old Ernie in? Uh, no. We're actually out in the middle of the field. We're actually out in the middle of the field. Okay. Yeah. That's good. There we go. He's gonna make sure it's not gonna stop, quit on us. Yeah. Oh, easy, easy. Just a little shot. Just a little shot. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. I don't want to give it too much. Awesome. All right, we're gonna let Ernie warm up here. All right, Ernie's warmed up. Gonna sit on my gloves here because that seat's a little chilly when it's winter. Ah, a little chilly on the booty. All right. Ooh, that's stiff. doing here you're gonna take this mass 1105 with this perfect extension this perfect extension I'm telling you this thing is a beast it just starts give it a little bit of caffeine and it's ready to rock and roll and we're gonna hook it up to our uh, our blade here and we're gonna try and move a little bit of snow away from these bins and uh, clear this yard off here just a little bit so that way we can move some green augers around and get the semi over there and move it around without having any issues Righty, righty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just keep doing that and I'll keep back. No, that's not gonna work. We're gonna have to hook up hydraulics. Alright, we got our hydraulics hooked in. We're gonna do a little test here. We only have two hydraulics, not this one. Two hydraulics in the old Ernie. Just a little sticky. 
Ernie's not as young as he used to be. <laughs> okay, we're just trying to get old Ernie going here. We're gonna see if, like, this snow is pretty hard to move. It's crested over. We're gonna see what we can do here. Come on, Ernie. He's gonna take it for a crack. This is the first time that uh, he's ever driven a Ernie.
kicks a rock, we're going for a ride. Let's just say that. Ernie's doing a little digging. You know, this steel is surprisingly, terrifyingly cold. Top the hill. Trick is to get it down the hill so it drains and not to put it where the bin pad is going to be. So, uh, the blade actually, we actually have to return that back to the main farm here. We'll probably keep it up here just for the time being to keep the snow cleared out of the yard, but uh, we're going to need it come springtime because that's what we use to uh, fill in all of our washouts. trying to put on a glove and walk and camera I can't I'm not that good of a multitasker and here's hoping he doesn't hook our hawk <laughs> we'll be over there somewhere if that be the case really good question I'm pretty sure I said that but I can't remember because I got a short memory I'm it's really good just really short uh, we not, whoa sorry about that we got to continue to turn some more grain remember that we kind of half-assed it there uh, when Ashton was past due we just loaded the carts and the semis and stuff so we actually would like to offload the carts and the semis and put everything back where it should go maybe turn it some more while we're up here that is what we're doing. The downside with blading is you create these ridges. Don't worry, we're gonna clean all this up. But uh, you create these ridges and then you get lots of wind. And it just blows banks over. So the road's over here, and it's only about this wide. So we're actually taking extra passes on each side to account for that. We don't have a snow blower where you can huck it a long distance. At least not up here we don't. So we gotta make do with what we have. We'll try not to get run over here. Lee has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> but he's doing a good job. Alright. You guys pretty 
pretty much got this figured out. I actually got to go do a bunch of business. Lee's gonna continue on, continuing on. I'll, I'll probably be back though. So I was going to say that this uh, blade requires more than two sets of hydraulics that we currently have. So we just don't have the wheels, they'll turn, and uh, the blade, it will go like, it will straighten out and go the other direction. We just don't have those ones plugged in. Do you want, these blades are not bad, but they could use extra weight. When you're actually moving any kind of dirt, like, I mean like just a little bit of dirt, She'll just kick it right off to the side. They're no greater, that's for sure. But they are handy for stuff like this. We typically use the blade for uh, spring washouts, like I said before, but blading snow away from uh, grain bags back home. And as you guys know, we don't have any grain bags back home. And Ernie, this is probably the most work that Ernie's done in the last 10 years because uh, I did a couple of videos of getting Ernie going. It was sitting at Boot Hill for a very long time. And Ernie's job was supposed to be on a grain auger. But the grain auger that he could run, that he had the power to run, actually died on us the very first day. So we actually had to use 724 on my father-in-law's. So. I think Jared's leading it, but there wasn't really many stucks, right? So I think if you had two stucks, you're automatically leading the stuck list. Yeah, I think if you even just got one stuck, you're automatically leading the stuck list. So, you know, it was a pretty crazy drought. But anyways, guys, I got to get going. I got stuff I got to get done. I just realized that uh, I'm almost going to be late for a meeting, and I like to be very punctual. I do not like being late. It's a pet peeve of mine for people who are. You say you're going to be there at a certain time? Be there at a certain time. All right, guys, we just got back here. Had some meetings I had to go to. I'm gonna put my phone up here. So, Lee has still been working. It's only been a couple hours. Filed the snow over there. Filed the snow over there. This is actually the road right here. Sorry about that crack. I know it annoys me as well as, like, every time I drive. And he's still working on moving the snow out of the yard. It takes a while to move snow out of the yard. There's no doubt about it. I think he's got a maze or an obstacle course going on here. I don't know what this rhyme or reason is, but <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway, I'm going to give him. I came here to pick him up to go eat. What? What kind of maze do you got going on around here? There's a lot of snow. Hey, you're using my carpet. Oh my goodness. I was like, I was like, I'm pretty sure that he has some rhyme or reason from going north, east, west, south on every angle that you could. He's gone this way, this way, up and down, around and around and ramping around and I don't know. A lot of snow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Did you color like this too? <laughs> I, I don't control. <laughs> oh man, alright, we're out of here.